Spunky London with them skew-if glasses. Rap, rap. <laughs> going to be coming and doing a detail in about two weeks and then after that we're going to be taking it up to Ross at Dragon Performance just to do a sort of full check over and maybe make a few little improvements here and there. These road drinks have a really really crisp sound to them. I mean this one especially because it's got a big single turbo on it but it, it's got a really intoxicating sound. Probably half the reason why uh, people get bad MPG from these things because you can't stop putting your foot down. <laughs> done to his glasses. I appear to have sat on my glasses like an absolute idiot and broken them. They just about still work. Not only did I break my glasses, but I also forgot to bring my wallet. Very kindly, the guys at Shell let me pay by a bank transfer on my phone, so at least we got some fuel. I've got some two-stroke oil right here, and if you guys look up here, I've put in 50 litres, so on a ratio of 1 to 100, that means we can put in 0.5 litres of pre-mixed 
two stroke oil. Pretty simple, the bottle's got a level on the side, so once it gets to uh, half point, halfway point, which is there, that's where we need to go. All filled up, good to go. Well, I'm sure a lot of you RX7 guys will know that these cars come with a oil metering pump, which basically squirts oil um, during the combustion process. This car still has an oil metering pump, but like a lot of people have suggested, sometimes it's quite a good idea just to run a little bit of premix oil in your fuel, just to help it sort of lubricate a little bit further. You don't need anything sort of super special, just any sort of high quality um, two stroke oil will do the job. I'm gonna pop into the car park across the road now. A lot of you guys were saying you, you wanted to sort of go through some of the spec and the spec on it is absolutely massive. So I'm, I'm probably gonna do a little cinematic number with some after effects on, uh, just to give you guys a sort of full rundown of the spec and save me chatting shit for 25 minutes. London with them skew if glasses. What a donut. I've been trying to bring out my own sunglasses for a while, but I haven't been really happy with the samples. I probably spent the best part of 500 quid just on samples to try and get them right, but I can't get them right at the moment. So I'm probably gonna have to go and buy another pair of Ray-Bans. It's probably the fourth pair I've broken. Right, back on the open road. I'm actually gonna be doing a pretty cool episode tomorrow as well. Like we said a million times, in the episodes, we're not very keen on the steering wheel. So tomorrow, Muzzy's very kindly invited me around to Jack West Monster to do a little video with him, uh, choose a steering wheel, and then we're gonna fit it and get rid of this uh, carbon fibre Momo bad boy. Oh, we got a tunnel. Later. Putting your master on girl, social media. <laughs> to my eyes only. One RX7 back at Castle Performance. So what are we gonna do now? Well you're gonna carry on working and you're gonna leave me to get cold and wash this beast. Seven looking nice and fresh. I'm going to go over in a set with a drying mitt and an airline just to get rid of 
some of the excess water. That about wraps up today's episode. Bye from Mr. Scouse. Bye from Mr. Lou. We're going to be back down at Carson Performance tomorrow for some more vlogging action. So yeah, see you guys soon.